India is getting ready for its launch of the Chandrayaan-3 satellite. The Chandrayaan-3 satellite, which will have a propulsion module, a Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover, will go on the launch vehicle Mark 3, which was earlier called the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle Mark 3, now renamed as Launch Vehicle 3. This is essentially a mission to showcase India's capability of soft landing on the moon and then having a rover on the moon surface. Chandrayaan-1 was India's maiden mission to the moon and it brought back spectacular results when it said and changed the lunar history by finding presence of water molecules on the moon surface. Chandrayaan-2, the orbiter continues to function around the moon in a very healthy state, but the Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover had a crash and failed. Lessons have been learned from the failure of Chandrayaan-2 of the Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover, and now Indian Space Research Organization is all set for the launch of Chandrayaan-3. Chandrayaan-3 will have a propulsion module which will take the Chandrayaan-3 Pragyan rover and the Vikram lander all the way to the moon and then the Vikram lander will go on to the moon surface and softly land near the south pole of the moon. There are scientific experiments both on the Vikram lander and the rover and ISRO hopes to achieve all of them but the critical thing is to have a soft landing. Many changes have been made on the lander. One of the big changes which has been made on the lander is that the legs have been more made more robust. The software has been made more robust and rigorous testing has been done both of the hardware and the software. And finally, India hopes to land almost at the same place where Chandrayaan-2 attempted to soft land. There are other changes in the configuration of the Vikram lander and there are no changes in the Pragyan rover. There are scientific experiments, one on the propulsion module to look at the earth and look for signatures of life and, and try and understand what a planet which has life looks like through, through signatures on the spectrograph. There are scientific experiments on the Vikram lander and there are experiments to be done on the Pragyan rover. India is attempting a soft landing close to the south pole of the moon essentially because the presence of water near the moon, near the south pole of the moon is higher and if ever a habitation has to happen on the moon, that could be one opportunity. But some say having habitation on the equatorial region could be a better bet. Essentially, Chandrayaan-3 is a more robust, more rigorously tested machine which is being sent all the way to the moon. The launch vehicle Mark 3 will attempt the launch and if all goes well, several weeks after the launch, India could well have its Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover on the lunar surface. Both the Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover are supposed to last one lunar day, which is equivalent to 14 Earth days, but it can last longer. Essentially, India is preparing so that India has a successful mission through Chandrayaan-3. An important mission by India in its effort to understand Earth's closest neighbor, the moon. In New Delhi, Palav Bagla.